In this lesson, you will learn how to calculate the variance and standard deviation of a population. First, we will go over the formulas and then work through this example step by step. The variance of a population is calculated using this formula. Here, sigma squared represents the population variance. Xi represents each data point in the population. Mu represents the population mean, which is the average of the data points in the population. N represents the population size, which is the total number of data points in the population. This symbol means sum up. It tells us to add all the squared differences. The standard deviation of a population is simply the square root of the population variance. Here sigma represents the population standard deviation. So, to find the standard deviation, first calculate the variance, and then take its square root. Now let's put this into action with our example. Here are the math test scores of all students in a small study group. We will calculate the population variance and standard deviation for this data set. Let's start with the variance. To keep things clear, we will organize our work in a table. In the first column, list all the data points in the population. We have 88, 74, 85, 78, and 90. In the second column, find the population mean and write it down. In the third column, calculate the difference between each data point and the mean. In the last column, square each difference. Now, the first thing to find is the population mean. The population mean is the sum of all data points divided by the population size. So first, add up all the data points in the population. Then, divide by the number of data points. Here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 data points. So the population size is 5. Therefore, we divide by 5. The sum of these numbers is 415. Feel free to use a calculator if needed. 415 divided by 5 is 83. So the population mean is 83. Now write down 83 in the second column of the table. Next, subtract the mean from each data point. 88 minus 83 is 5. 74 minus 83 is negative 9. 85 minus 83 is 2. 78 minus 83 is negative 5. 90 minus 83 is 7. Next, square each of the differences you obtained. 5 squared is 25. Negative 9 squared is 81. 2 squared is 4. Negative 5 squared is 25. 7 squared is 49. Now, to get this sum in the numerator, you just need to add up all the squared differences. Adding these squared differences, we get 184. Since our population size is 5, we divide by 5. 184 divided by 5 is 36.8. Therefore, the population variance is 36.8. Now, to find the population standard deviation, just take the square root of the population variance. The square root of 36.8 is about 6.07 when rounded to the nearest hundredth. So the population standard deviation is 6.07. Here is a practice problem for you to try. Pause the video, work it out on your own using the same steps we just went through, and then check your solution below. But wait, in this video, we calculated the variance and standard deviation for a population. However, calculating them for a sample is a little different. Click on the video on the screen to learn how. You can also find the link in the description or the first comment.